Hi there, I'm Florence Anamondes. I'm a composer living and working in the UK. I'm an English composer and um, I'm here to say a few words about my piece Which Blooms in Winter, which Christine's going to play on the clarinet. And um, this is a piece which I wrote for her in the winter of 2020. And um, in this piece, there's um, the kind of idea of something like a small flower, a snowdrop or something, a tulip tiny and delicate growing out from the the winter soil and gradually expanding into not necessarily a hostile environment but a, a frozen landscape so the music has this this feeling of growth all the way through and um, kind of each phrase is a little more ambitious than the one before it's sort of reaching out and um, one of the things I really wanted to do with this piece was explore um, Christine's lovely legato playing across the whole range of her instruments. So there's there's lots of um, wide leaps and, and and rapid movements, but it's done in a very smooth and and delicate and organic way, rather than being kind of super harsh and spiky. And um, I think this is probably the third or fourth time I've actually. Um, this, that Christine's played this piece, so I'm, I'm really, really excited um, that she, she keeps playing it. She, so, you know, I'm really glad that she likes it, and um, it's a piece that uh, I've, I've become very, very fond of myself as we keep hearing it. Uh, it has, well, I suppose it's quite a personal piece for me, maybe. It's got this kind of sense of personal growth and personal experience, and, um, well, I hope you enjoy listening to it too. Thank you very much.
Hi, my name is Sophie Jupia Posey. I am a French Venezuelan writer, music composer, and French teacher. As a child, I spent hours listening primarily to classical music and jazz, and I read the composer's biographies as well as the stories based on their music. From that exposure, I knew I wanted to make my own music. I composed my first solo piano piece at 13 by running my fingers over the keys and creating a soothing Asian sounding piece. I went to Rollins College in 2011, graduating with a bachelor's degree in honors English with minors in both music and creative writing. I started publishing orchestral and piano pieces in literary magazines while I was still in college. I am now an indie composer with three albums in the neoclassical and jazz genres, and I've scored soundtracks for a few short films. When I compose, I either do it by experimenting and messing around on the piano until I find a musical phrase, or even just a few chords that spark something deeper within me. Or I hear the music in my head, and then I memorize it until I can identify the melody and most of the instruments. The next steps are to go to the piano, and using Logic Pro, I can input in the instruments. I play each track individually until the piece blossoms into existence. The piece, Lonely Musings for Clarinet, was composed in 2016. It started off as a wistful melody with some playfulness in it. It was originally just a classical piece, but there was a swing feel to it that just wouldn't go away. So I notated that in the sheet music, letting any player who'd want to perform it improvise on the feel of it in their own way. 
Christine performed this piece back in January and gave it a unique touch of her own. I'm excited to see how she is going to interpret it this time. It's one of my more mischievous pieces. For Graceful Darkness in the Ballroom, it was composed this year, I Heard It in My Head, a lonely melodic phrase of a waltz tempo. Other instruments would try to come into the picture, but the clarinet would always outshine them. I decided to leave it as just a solo clarinet piece, because it is a haunting melody, and the fact that it has a waltz rhythm that is unaccompanied adds to the stately solitude of it. I imagine an empty ballroom, once full of life, full of dancing and merry people, but now it is empty, dark, and forgotten. Of the walls remember the past music that used to be there, just a shell now of what it used to be.
Hi, I'm composer Lisa Neer, and I'm coming at you from Portland, Oregon, where I write music, I sing as a new music mezzo-soprano, and I'm also an actress. And I'm so excited that Christine is playing my piece Gulper for you in this performance. My process as a composer begins with an idea um, based in nature most of the time or in a story an environment, a critter, or a relationship. And so this one obviously is a critter piece. This is about the gulper eel, which isn't an eel at all. It's a deep water fish with a long skinny body, very eel-like, and then a giant pelican-like mouth. And it looks really weird and strange. And we really only know about the gulper eel from a few like deep water submersible um, videos and then when they get caught unfortunately and pulled up to the surface which sadly they don't usually survive so they're a little mysterious but some of the things we do know about them that inspired the piece we know that at the end of the tail of the gulper eel they have an organ that glows pale pink and can also flash a bright red flash to attract prey so this is something that you'll hear when I read that, that got my ideas going as a composer. And that became high sustained floating notes that represent that pale pink glow. And then these aggressive slides up to the high register, loud repeated notes that represent that more agitated red flashing. Another thing that we know about the pelican eel is how it moves and it moves by whipping its long tail. And so that idea of a whip-like tail motion inspired these big leaping arpeggiated motions in the clarinet up and down, very athletic, that you'll also hear in the piece. And then it lives in the deep water and what better way to represent this deep water habitat and also this sort of lying in wait of the gulper eel as it waits for the prey after its light has flashed then to go down into the low shalomo register of the clarinet and so you'll hear these tremolos in the clarinet very soft very mysterious very low representing that time when the gulper eel is waiting will something please come and and be attracted by my lure so my music takes these ideas that I read about. I try to tell that as a story, as a narrative, using motives that express this experience of the critter, this life that they lead. And one of the things I hope people will get out of it is I hope that this will get you interested in reading about these cool deep water critters and get you excited about the world around us. I take great pleasure and delight in learning about all kinds of interesting, weird, cool things that exist in this world. And that's what I want to bring people to in my music is to a moment of appreciating and curiosity and joy and transformation. So I hope you enjoy the piece.
Thank <laughs> you.